Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a penguin. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Below that, draw another circle as a guide for the bottom half of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First, make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Make this circle slightly smaller than the first circle. Don't place the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. On the top right side, draw a smaller circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. Pay attention to how small this circle is in relation to the first circle. The circle should be about one-fourth the size of the first circle. Inside the head, draw two intersecting lines that are similar to a plus sign. These are construction guides that will help you place the facial features later on. To the right of the head, draw a sloping line as a guide for the top part of the beak. Pay attention to how long this line is in relation to the head. Below that, draw a curved horizontal line to finish the guide for the beak. Now connect the top circles using curved lines to create the guide for the neck. The top line should be longer and more curved than the bottom line. Connect the body circles too to finish the guide for the torso. Curve these lines out so that the body bulges out a bit. Under the body, draw a short angled line as a guide for the foot. The shape of this line should be similar to the letter L. To the left, draw two short curved lines as guides for the tail. These lines should be similar to a curved letter V. Inside the body, near the left edge, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the flipper. To the right, draw a long curved line to finish the guide for the flipper. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the circle on the top right side of the construction guides. As you darken the shape, make the sides pointier for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw another small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Now shade the rest of the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Use a value that's lighter than the pupil when you shade the eye. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye to emphasize the shape. Keep these lines close to the edge of the eye. Add a few more short strokes around the eye for texture. Use a dark value for the sides of the eye. Now use the angled shape on the right as a guide to draw the beak. Darken the top part of the guide but make the line a bit more curved. Start the line for the beak farther to the right along the path of the guide. Now draw a long curved line across the middle of the guide for the mouth. Extend the line to the left so that it ends under the eye. 
Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Pay attention to how much this line curves inside the guide. Make the tip of the beak pointy. Now draw an angled line at the top to close off the top part of the beak. Below the mouth, draw a long curved horizontal line for the bottom part of the beak. Draw the bottom part of the beak slightly higher than the initial guideline. Inside the bottom part of the beak, draw a short curved line for the color separation. Inside the top part, draw a short line for a groove on the beak and the nostril. Now use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Make the section where the head attaches to the beak slightly thinner than the initial guidelines. Darken the line below the beak to complete the shape of the head. Now use the angled line that's under the body as a guide to draw the foot. First, draw a curved line around the top part of the guide for the base of the short leg. Use short strokes as you darken the shape for a feathery texture. Now draw the foot along the bottom part of the guide. Draw a long thin shape for the first toe. On the tip of the toe, draw a small triangular shape for a pointy claw. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the toes when you get the shape right. To the right, draw a similar shape but make it slightly bigger for another toe. Slightly farther to the right, draw the visible portion of the longest toe. To the right, draw the other foot the same way. Draw a couple of short strokes at the top for the leg. Lightly sketch long thin shapes for the toes. Add small triangular shapes on the tips of the toes for the claws. When you get the toes right, darken the shapes. A big part of this foot will be hidden behind the first foot, so only draw the visible section. Now use the long shape that's inside the body as a guide to draw the flipper. Make the line on the left slightly wavier as you darken the shape. At the bottom, make the shape a bit pointier. Darken the right side of the guide and extend the line higher up. Use the rest of the shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. The left side of the body should be made up of one long continuous line that connects to the tail at the bottom. Use a long continuous line for the front part of the body too. Draw a curved line that's slightly wider than the initial guides for the bottom part of the body. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. On the left side of the head, draw a curved line for the feather pattern. Add a series of short strokes farther to the left. Draw a couple of lines down toward the flipper for the color separation on the body. Draw a couple more lines below the flipper too. And now shade the body. Use a dark value for the head and the left side of the body. 
shade lightly at first and gradually build up to a darker value. Use the darkest value on the head and the stripe on the body. The value on the left side of the body should be a bit lighter. Use a very light value for the section on the head and for the oval inside the lower half of the beak. Now add a light value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Draw a shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the penguin. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.